Hi, this is Wayne with the Genuatech Mobi One team. So I'd like to show you how quick and easy it is to use Mobi One Studio to create native applications that you can install on your iPhone or iPad devices. The process we'll use is very simple. First, we'll lay out a user interface. We'll start by using the Design Center Workbench, as you see here right in front of us. It consists of uh, widgets that you can drag and drop and place anywhere you want onto a uh, design form. And then from there, we'll be able to customize using properties. We'll show you more of that in a minute. Once we have the user interface layout that we like, we'll start it up and run it in the test center. This is the test center workbench. It consists of an emulator and a number of tools. Okay, returning back to the design center, we're going to create a very simple application. Imagine that you're creating a little business application and you want your users to be able to, to have a contact page that they can uh, click a button and say dial directly and talk to either your sales, marketing, or tech support. And in this case, we'll create one for Mobi One. So what I've done is I just dropped a little nav bar, I deleted a couple of the default buttons, and I'm just going to use this to put a title on our application. I'm going to call it Mobi One Info. I already have a button here, and so I'm just to give it a little more color, I'm going to lay out an image. So I'm going to select this image from the file system. I'll align it. We have some little alignment tools. And then also, this stripe background doesn't look that great. So I'm going to click the form. I'm going to change from a striped background to a white background. And then I'm going to lay out my button here. I'll size it so that it is the same size as the image. We'll make it a little bit bigger. And this button, what I want is for when the user to click it, for it to dial our uh, Genuatech uh, 800 or toll-free number. So let's give it, uh, change the label on the button to dial for info and let's make this font a little bit bigger. Let's see, here's our little font dialog. I'm going to make it size 20. That makes it a little full, a little more full, easy to see. And then also, when the user clicks this action, we want it to dial, dial your phone. So we have this predefined action called dial phone and then I'll just enter the phone number, which is 888-914-6620. Hope I got that right. We don't want to make a prank phone call to the wrong person. Now, once I have my user interface and I like the way it looks, I can preview it very quickly in the test center that I showed you just a minute ago. So I'll click this little button. The first thing it'll do is it will generate our HTML code, and then it launches the uh, and it launches the test center with our user interface already pre-populated and loaded into the to the emulator. And this is what it'll look like on your device. Uh, I can click this button. Now we don't have real dialing services uh, in the emulator, but uh, you can see that this is the number that it would call. So the action is already pre-configured and ready to run. So with that, we'll return back to the test center. With our user interface design, we're now ready to begin the build process. So I'll launch the App Center build wizard. Here you see it starting up. One thing I want to bring to your attention is that you'll need a, an Apple developer membership. And I'll show you where some of the information that uh, you'll get through that membership is needed uh, in the build process. So let's get started. The first configuration page is our naming and version information. And we're going to call this dial for info. It's the name of our application, and the installation file will also have the same name. Proceeding on next, our device uh, in orientation settings, we're going to make this a universal application, and the uh, orientation will be both portrait and landscape. The next page uh, allows us to view the content and customize it. These are the files that make up our application, and so we can drill down and view those, and we can modify those files as we need. Moving to the digital signature page, you'll need your Apple developer membership to complete this page. Through your uh, developer membership, you create a certificate file, which I'm going to enter here, a private key file, and finally a bundle identifier, and I'm going to call this dial for info. And then our last field is our provision profile, which I also got from the through my Apple developer membership. Proceeding on, our application and startup images page. Use this page to provide images for the application's icon when it's installed on the home screen. I'm not going to provide any today, so I can show you the default uh, images provided by the uh, builder. And finally, the last page is notifications. Here I can, can configure uh, the App Center to provide a pop up desktop uh, notification when my build is finished or if there's an error. And then also, when it's completed, I can e email instructions to myself or to, or to uh, any of my collaborators uh, for how to install the application. And I'm going to show you that in just a minute. 
Now the last page is, just tells us we're ready to start and we can click finish to begin the process. Now we're uploading all our content to App Center Builder and now over here in the bottom window we can watch the build progress. The process is usually fairly quick. What is happening is all the web application content has been uploaded to our build server and then it basically builds a native iOS application, uses all the signing data, and then returns it back to us. We can see here that it's already completed and we can uh, get more details. So I click this little button here. We can see that it, the build completed successful and then we can find our application has already been created and stored in our file system. I'll click OK and we're going to move over and I will show you how we're going to install this on our iPhone. This is iDemo. It's a Windows application that allows me to view the screen of my iPhone 4. You can see that the home screen is moving from page to page. Now I sent a notification to my email address and this is what it looks like when it arrives on say your iPhone or your iPad. I'm going to go ahead and click the notification. Here's the email and there's an installation link with a URL to it. So when I click this, it is going to give me the option to install the application that we just built. And this is very convenient. Don't have to use iTunes or anything like that. So I get a little bit of detail about our dial for info. It just shows me the version number and, and then I'm going to click install now. This is going to do over the air installation. So I'll click install and you should see progress bar as it's installing. Hooray, Eureka, we made it. Now we've got this little dial for info uh, app installed. I'm going to go ahead and launch it. So I'll click it with my finger there. You should see it come up, splash screen, and then there's our dial for info button. And I'm going to click the button. I'm going to hope you can hear it. Ask us to approve it. Should start dialing. I'll put the speaker on. Thank you for calling GenuaTech. If you know your party's extension, you may enter it anytime. There you go. I believe that's enough. So uh, definitely uh, call that number and talk to sales if you would like to learn more. This has been a quick demo. I uh, hope that uh, you'll give Moby One a try and uh, see how quick and easy it is to build your own custom applications. Thank you for your time.